Hello everyone, my name is Cycro and this is Project Overpowered Skybox episode 12 and in this episode we're gonna make the pedestal through the fusion force crafting we have behind us and I'm gonna enable myself to be able to fly. So what we need to build the dark matter pedestal is a fusion forge. So the fusion forge is gonna be used to make different rings as well and especially the swift wool rending gale ring and this is the one that can add a fly to us armor so i think we're going to build this one in this episode as well and then we have the pedestal so we need an armor stand dark matter and red matter that's easy more obsidian we can just smelt that in, in a smelter i can see yeah that's fairly easy as well and then we need the recipe for the fusion forge so we're gonna need a machine controller casting lava stone block of coal so this seems like a more easy task than the, the, the other one with the clock so, and lava stone, yeah, so I think lava stone I made already, yes, and the recipe for lava stone, just stone uh, surrounded by lava, so that's fairly easy. Uh, let's buy the, oh, that, that's right, that's EMC, so let's go into the shop, and we're going to need the fusion force, there we go, I'm going to get the recipe. So, we're going to look at this one right here, so let's go over here. And I should be able to do, if I'm going to remove this one, this, and I'm going to sneak it into place. So I have no idea how this is going to be in the oriented, so I'm just going to place it right here. Oh, shift, right click, right? Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to start building these things, so it's a lava stone, right? Yeah, around here. And that's a magma block. And these, what are these? Let me just check the recipe here. So the first layer, that's a block of iron. So yeah, let me build this up and I'll be right back. So we can continue making the pedestal and also the different rings so we can upgrade our, let me go in here, our gem armor. Yeah, be right back. Bop. And this should be the last one, maybe. What did I do wrong? No, what did I do wrong? God damn it. Let's check the recipe again. So I got the dark matter block in the middle. Nothing there, nothing there. Four pieces of iron. Nothing in the middle. No. That should be it. Oh, God damn it. Is it because of the snows here? Hmm. Let's just check this. There must be the, the upper layers here. So layer five. So coal all the way around. There's, oh, hang on. Magma block, that's the one there. Coal there. So behind me should be two there. Hmm, this looks right. This is annoying. Ah, do I have to build it again? God damn. Okay, it turns out that this is correct because I could put the the fusion force in here so it didn't have the sparkly thing like just like this one so apparently it's good enough so let's uh, grab the different items we need so we need a power source to begin with so i'm just gonna put all these things back here yes and you are going in my back you you and you and the rest are going in here so let's get a petrified petrified generator we should have everything yes that's the power. And if you look at the pedestal, we need more obsidian, just only one bucket. I'm only gonna need one pedestal to begin with. So let's get an obsidian, a single one, or maybe, maybe two. Yes, let's go to our Tinker's Construct area where we can smelt the obsidian, obsidian into a fluid. And we should just be able to do this, yes. So, and else we need an armor stand. Do I have an armor stand? Armor, no I don't. So what do they take to create an armor stand? So sticks and stone, sticks and stone, yes. Sticks and stone, stone bricks, we have them. Ah, there was a space in between. So does the slab have the MC value? No, it doesn't, so, but. This should be the armor stand, right? Yeah, there we go. 
let's learn it so we have it and then we're going to need some dark matter balls right there and the last item what was that that was a red is it five yeah it's five red matter i sometimes i wish i could spell so let's take a stack. So is this uh, smelt up oh, almost? And I think we are just able to do this into a bucket. So bucket, I think we could do this, right? I think we can put this into a bucket. And let's put another one in here. Hmm, that was apparently not enough. Okay, let me get this fixed. No reason for us to wait for that. We have the molten lava bucket, cool. So let's add the power to this one, Burp. And we're gonna need some fuel. Fuel, there we go, Burp. I turn in a fuel. Okay, and we need the fluid. So let's add a single bucket of molten. So there's one bucket there. And if you look at the control, it's missing the inputs. So it was, let's look at the recipe, armor stand, 10 red matter, and 5, no, so 10 dark matter. So let's take 10 there, and 5 red matter there, and the armor stand. And this should be able to make it, right? Missing input. No, it's, oh, it, it's already complete, completed. Ah! It's already completed. Nice. <laughs> so let's do the same thing for the swift wool rending gale um, and uh, ring. So I made up the items already. So uh, at the angelic feather is simply just a feather, nibbler's heart when we get from draw, from enderman, so a bat wing we get from uh, from bats, and also the first heart essence is just slime and uh, creeper and skeleton and green dye. So that's fairly easy to make. So in you go. And it was how many? It was two dark matter blocks. And then a bucket of lava. Lava, there we go. And in you go. And it goes so fast, it was already done yet. No? Let's see here. Is it done now? What's it missing? It's missing something. Lava, feather, two dark matter blocks, and just feather. So what is missing? It's missing. No, it has everything, right? Iron dark band, and take feather. Hmm. Let me figure out what's going on here because this is a bit weird. Is it the placement uh, important? So it says it's missing item, missing input. Let's remove everything. There's lava in there. Let's add everything. No, that's another one. Oh, that's a dark matter furnace. That's why. <laughs> so dark matter block. There we go. In you go. And it's going to be sucked in. Yes, it does. And it should have granted us a swift rending flu. So uh, let's see how this is work. I can't remember. Because we need an MC charge to actually make this to, to fly. So let's go in here and type U. No. Uh, U. There, the armor. So we need a client star. Oh, we need two of them. That's no issue. Let me make these things and I will be right back because we need two more. So, burp. run extra ring later. And we should now have. Oh, there, where's my coffee table here? Have everything ready. So the boots, the client star Omega, and the two rings, right? Yes. So how do I, so hurricane boots, yes, I can fly now, perfect, this is very nice, yay, <laughs> this makes things a little bit easier, we can actually go to the nether now, so yeah, well, thank you for watching this episode where we made the fusion fort and it was a two, oh, hang on, I forgot the most important part of why we actually made the pedestal, so we have this uh, Bosnia pot here, if I add this one down here, and add the watch of flowing time. Where is it? There it is. And I add it right here. And I do this. We can now see our EMC goes about 15 G per second. If I turn it off, it's only one mega. mega. So 
this speeds that things up by 15 ticks after the update, so that's very nice. So now I can say thank you for watching the episode. If you like this episode, like and subscribe. And in, in the comments to the mod packs of playthrough, just write it down in the comments below. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.